Like millions of Americans, I was riveted on the George Zimmerman trial in the murder of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. I want to put my voice in what's going on in this country about what happened. I think it's very important for people to understand uh, that um, Trayvon Martin's murder was in the context of a very highly charged world in which young black men are being sought, profiled, attacked. If it was just one person, that's one thing, but this happens throughout the country. It's been going on for so many years. It's, uh, it's uh, young men who are unarmed, including of African-American descent, Latinos, others of color, and poor white people who are under this kind of uh, attack. I think it's important for people to know that whatever happened, George Zimmerman started the, the situation that eventually led to this young man to be killed. And that's something that has to be looked into. Why he was acquitted, but also why he was given his gun back. One thing that people don't realize is that in the state of Florida, uh, young men uh, were able to get life sentences for non-capital crimes, and almost all of them were African Americans, given life sentences for not killing anybody. And here you have George Zimmerman, who actually killed somebody, being let go. There's a lot of injustices. We can go all the way to Rodney King. We can go to all the things that precipitated the 60s rebellions and uprisings uh, because almost all of them were linked to police killing somebody or police hurting somebody or others being involved. We can go all the way to the lynchings, to Emmett Till, further down, um, that in this country, young black men, young Latino men, young men of color, but also poor white people are usually sought and hurt and not able to defend themselves. And people who do the, the hurting can get away. I hope that this country will do whatever it can to save our young people, to make sure that no young person, whatever color, has to ever go through this again. Thank you very much.